I want my fog lights to come on without my headlights. And in this video, we're gonna handle that. You know, I was always taught to give credit where credit's due. So that's what we're gonna do. This is not my idea that you are about to see. I actually researched this to find out the best way to do this on YouTube, just like you guys do. And this is what I come up with. So FWH79 on YouTube was actually the one to do this. Now, I don't know if somebody did it before him, but he's the one that I got the idea from. I really like the way he did it. It's super clean, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy this mod. So first off, let's talk about what we've got. As you all know, we have LED headlights in the front of the car. I got those from Amazon. I think they were about 26 bucks or so. And down here for the fog lights, they're just stock. Well, they're not stock anymore. These are aftermarket fog lights, but they have the stock bulbs in them. So as you can see, the top lights are really white and the bottom fog lights are really orange. So. You know, people give me crap about it all the time. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. I like the difference between the two because to me, it reminds me of the old four-eyed cars with the yellow lights down in the bottom. And uh, I don't know, that's just kind of near and dear to my heart, but I do understand that a lot of people want the LEDs in the bottom. Be warned though, from what I understand, the LEDs that I've purchased don't give off a lot of light. More than likely, if you're putting LEDs in your car, then you already have LED headlights. So really and truly, the fog lights don't help much anyway. They're gonna completely overpower your fog lights. So no problem, as long as you have LEDs up top, I think you'll be just fine doing the LEDs in the bottom. Well, all right guys, let's go ahead and get started. You know, I'm always so unprepared. I swear, I never have my, my stands out here or anything. Let's see if we can hook you guys up with something. All right guys, so I've got you up on this kind of weird mount here uh, so that we can look and see what we need. So. First off, let's talk about tools needed for the job. Really, only thing you're gonna need is a test light. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a 5 8 Let me check that right now. Yep, a 5 8 All right, so first off, let's go ahead and look, see what's in the package. I got these items from two different places. First off, you're gonna need an ADA circuit. I bought this from Amazon. There will be a link down below where you can purchase this. This connector, I'll go ahead and tell you, does have to come off. That's no big deal. Oh. And while we're here, I noticed somebody mentioned something about my knife earlier. Well, guys, if you like knives, I have got just the knife for you. If you're into something like this, check this out. This is the Ganzo Firebird F755. It's 440C steel, really nice knife, has the G-Lock, which yes, was taken from Benchmade, but uh, really good knife. I actually use this in the kitchen a lot. Is that bad? Is that a bad thing? I'm not sure. We've got our add a circuit. So it's got a 15 amp fuse in it. And what we're going to do is put one more 15 amp fuse in it. I've not opened this yet, so I hope it's not damaged. These are the uh, fog lights. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is not sponsored content. I bought this myself. So these are the lights that we've got. Uh, like I said, these come from LMR. I'll have a link down below. And just so you guys know, if you're curious, the fog lights actually ground to the housing which then ground to the body of the car. So that's why there's only one wire and ground to the body. So this is it guys, this is all we need. I'll tell you what, we'll just go to the car and we're gonna find the area that we have to put the add a circuit and get power to the actual fog lights. We'll go do that first, then we'll come back and we'll start our install. You wanna make sure that you get your power to your factory fog lights first before you go doing all this. That way you know that your connection's good and it's not an issue with maybe something you did here. Well, all right, see you in the car. From what I can tell, it is going to be one of these. I'll have to check and see. Uh, you just need constant power, so that's all it is. And then I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this fuse here, which will be the fog lights. The best way to tell is to pull that fuse out and check and see if your fog lights work. So let's do that now. And that was the wrong fuse. That's why you always check stuff. Okay, so that is the fuse to the fog lights. So I'll show you exactly which one it was. Um, somebody has put a 30 amp fuse uh, in that position. It does not require a 30 amp fuse. It actually requires a 15 amp fuse. You don't ever want to over fuse anything. If something grounds out, 
Uh, some of these wires are really thin and they can actually burn out before they'll burn the fuse up. So you can always refer to the owner's manual. Um, there's Chilton's out there. There's all types of stuff that you can do or just look it up online. Just make sure you put the right amp fuse back in the right spot. This is the fuse that we had to take out right in here. So now what we need to do is find out which side is hot. This side has power. This side doesn't. So what you have to do here is go to the side that doesn't have power. Basically, you're just completing the circuit in the way that the fuse would. So imagine the power coming into this side. It goes through the fuse and it comes out this side. So then it sends power to whatever it is that it needs to go to. We're going to essentially do away with this side of it and we're going to supply our own power to this side of the fuse box. So that's what we're doing, guys. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Now we know what we need to do. The problem is this connector obviously will not plug into the slot. So I got to cut that off. All right, guys. So once you get your connector on down here, uh, all you have to do is add one more fuse. The reason that you're adding another fuse is because you're not only going to carry whatever is already on that circuit. You now have to carry the fog lights too. The regular fog lights are rated for 15 amps, so it would be safe to go ahead and put a 15 amp back in here. You could probably get away with a 10 also. What we're going to do now is go ahead and pull out the circuit that we want to pull from and then plug in. Let's see if we can get these fog lights to come on. What you want to do is pull out an always hot circuit like that. Put your new circuit in, which is right here, like that. So that's how it's gonna look. Nice and neat, guys. I love that. It's so simple. Let's see if the fog lights will come on by themselves now. And there you go, guys. So that job is complete. See how easy that was? Simply just put your add a circuit in, wire it hot, and you're good to go. I would not do this with the stock halogen style bulbs. I would not do this, guys. That's just me. Uh, maybe some of you guys have done it and you know you can prove me wrong. I do not recommend doing this because that's a lot of load on that circuit. These LEDs are a lot less load. So I would not do this with the stock bulbs. We'll just, I'll leave that there. So I'll put a disclaimer uh, at the beginning of this video do this at your own risk i will not be held liable this is just what i'm doing to mine if you want to do it there again do it at your own risk because if you know fox bodies the wiring up around the switch panel is not always the best so now what we have to do is get these fog lights out and put our new leds in and guys we are done so right there in the center of the screen is the nut that you have to take off to slide your uh, fog lights out it's really simple it's a 5 8 i'm going to go ahead pull this off and then we'll look at exactly what it takes to swap out the bulbs. Very, very simple to remove your fog lights, guys. So you just need to pry this up. Um, you gotta be careful though, not to bust the fog light. All right, so here is the inside of the assembly. And all you're gonna do is take this piece of metal, this little wire, move it to the sides like that, and bend it back. And what that does is actually release the bulb. Then you're just gonna slide this protective cover back and unconnect everything so once you get that off just pull your sleeve off and we're going we're gonna to reuse the sleeve on this but you can see how hot these fog lights get there's a lot of power that runs through this little circuit so you're going to get rid of this this big power hog here and you're going to go to something that draws a lot less power now it may not project this far but it's definitely going to draw a lot less power all right so let's go ahead and reassemble everything put our sleeve back on plug this back in you have to make sure you put your bulb in the right spot or else it will not lock down properly. Definitely want to make sure that that is slid down over that connector though. All right, we're just going to reassemble and all you do is connect this piece with that lip, with that, push down, lift up, and everything should snap back into place. What we're going to do now is just plug it up and make sure everything works. So you're just going to put the bolt back into the little slot, the adjusting ring in here. As you can see, your fog lights move around everywhere. This is the time to go ahead and get everything centered up. I don't know if this is centered or not, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and wire this thing up. Cross your fingers. Let's hope that this works. So now you see what I'm talking about with these not being very bright. They don't project a lot of light. That's fine, guys. It's less load on your circuit in your car. 
So I would not worry about that one bit. I mean, in actuality, how often do we rely on our fog lights to actually help us see? So I'm gonna go ahead, do the other one, and then we'll have a discussion about it. Well, there you go, guys. We have the LEDs installed. I think they look pretty damn good. So this is a really simple job. Um, you know, it doesn't take very long to do. By all means, just make sure that you use the fuses, you know, you install everything correctly, take your time. Well, all right, here's the LEDs installed. Now we're gonna go ahead, turn the headlights on and see how everything matches up. And there it is. We have our super bright LED headlights. You know what? I've got to admit, that looks pretty damn good. I mentioned earlier in the video, I kind of like the halogen yellow style kind of glow. But you know what? After looking at this, I really like it. Wow, look how far my headlights are out of adjustment. I've got to do some headlight adjusting at some point. And I really need to put my amber lights back in the corners. I'm just gonna put those back amber like they're supposed to be. I just think they look better that way. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Do you like that look or do you like the amber everywhere like it's supposed to be? That is gonna wrap this video up. I will be doing an update. I'll post some pictures up on Instagram for you guys. It's getting really late tonight and I've got some stuff I need to do. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, please use caution whenever you're doing this mod. And as always, thanks for watching.